I want to welcome you to yet another fabulous, entertaining, hilarious episode of Media from the Heart. I am Ruth Hill, your host, and today I have the supreme honor of sharing with you an episode I did a short time ago with three very good friends of mine. They are all three podcasters. I have had the distinct honor of meeting all of them off screen, not just via Zoom or on the computer. All three of them were actually in attendance in New Jersey this past December at Christmas Con. And so I want to introduce to you Jack, Chad, and Dara. Please enjoy this episode. There are going to be a few surprises along the way, lots of laughs, and so far, this is probably my most entertaining episode. I don't know if we'll be able to top this one. Let me know what you think. Well, I want to welcome everybody to another episode of Media from the Heart, and I am so, so very excited today. Because today, I have three of my really good friends who've decided to come and join me. And I had the distinct honor of meeting all three of these people. Um, well, I've met, I, I had met some of them before, but I actually met with all three of them during, there was, there was a big convention, Christmas Con, that happened in December um, in New Jersey. And then all three of them were in attendance. And so as I was setting up my podcast, I thought, you know, what would be really, really fun is let's have all three of them come on together to kick off the month of February. And because we have all this great Hallmark and other networks and other movies and TV shows and who knows what else out there. And so I want to take the time to introduce my three very special guests. Um, I have is I have a little bio to read about each of them, but we have Jack, who you might know from what was once the bubbly fish. We had Jackson Shaw, no. and I absolutely <laughs> love them, and that that was how I got to know them. I knew Jack before she was that big name with Hallmark, and the bubbly fish was part of Hallmark. I knew her before that. I knew the bubbly stash before they were Hallmark. So kind of cool. Well, but, I, I gotta say, sorry, I wasn't clapping for myself. I was so focused on the entrance that Chad is about to make that even though you very clearly said Jax, I thought you were introing Chad and I was like, oh. let's give it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, so sorry, I wasn't like clapping no. for myself like an excited intent, but we all should do that. Uh, <laughs> you and I go way back, oh OG God. Bubbly set, and when I was away for um, Alex's sister's wedding, you were the Jax to Shawl Shawl, and you were not Jax, you were your own wonderful woman that you are, but you hopped in for me, and I've really loved getting to know you since, and I've always been a fan of your work and what you do, but I've seen it grow over the last few years, and we all got to really hang out and have fun <laughs> at Christmas Con. Oh, maybe, we do. maybe a little too much fun. Oh no, 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 not too much fun. Never oh. too much fun. No, but yes, I, I, I got to go to a party. Jack was kind enough to invite me to this party with uh, Christopher Palaha and Jill Wagner, and actually one of our virtual get audience members was there too. Timmy was there, and um, I got to meet Dara while I was there, and so that was that was really cool. But let me tell you a little bit about Jack. I love her little bio here. Jack is fangirl, actor, board game maker, and professional podcast guest, which just cracks me up. <laughs> In her free time, you can find her cuddled up with her cat, Artie, doing escape rooms and trying to solve mysteries. 
and follow her at Jacqueline Collier on Instagram for her adventures. And if you've not ever followed this woman on Instagram, she loves mysteries. I mean, she had this whole thing. I remember, Jack, you were doing this whole thing of mystery. Wasn't it you were trying to find something about Christopher Palaha's book or his there was like an ad or something or what, what was that? You yes. were so, that was? Um, Christopher Blaha, when his book came out, there was supposed to be a big ad in Times Square and there was a big, amazing ad in Times Square. But the first week that we thought it was going to be there, it wasn't. Uh, there was a glitch in the system. So I was there in the middle of Times Square trying to film it, couldn't find it, trying to get all the angles. And then the, the second week that it was actually there, I managed to sleuth it out and actually find the, the ad. So yes, I love a good snoop. I love mysteries. Um, I, I feel like Dar and I have now really bonded over the mystery world. Um, so yes, I definitely I love a good mystery. That's well, that's great. And you've also been in a home you've been in one Hallmark movie that we've seen at least. Um that was you, you and Shaw were in a Hallmark movie, uh, which was just so great. I remember when that happened. I remember how excited you both were for that. And I think you were you're you you're in like another movie coming up, maybe? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So but we don't I mean by we I mean I don't and I don't know if they know what network it will be okay. or when it will air. But right. um so I mean I'm not that's not like a secret I'm keeping. Maybe right. they're keeping it for me. Right. But um the engagement plot, Brian Bird was the executive producer and Taylor Bird wrote it. And it's a really, really awesome script. And Trevor Donovan was the lead and Rachel Boston uh, was the leading woman. And I got to play her best friend, which was a dream come true. And now she's a sweet little baby named Grace. I know, I know, it's amazing. So you have, you have quite a few things I know that you're doing. I mean, and of course, the professional, the professional podcast guest just cracks me up because every time I turn around, Jack was on another podcast. Oh, she's on another podcast. Oh, she's on another podcast. <laughs> Jack's <laughs> just begging somebody to let her go on their show. <laughs> right. Like you, you two gals know this very well because I've, I've asked you both like, hey, I'm around. So you let me know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, and you might wonder why there's just this New York picture on our screen and um there's a, another really unusual i'm going to call him unusual but an absolutely unique <laughs> amazing person um when i first met him i would he knows that he, i was like who is this person and, and, and why, why did he know? <laughs> and he's coming up to me in uh in franklin tennessee and he's he's introducing himself and or he's saying hi to me and i'm thinking why do you know me okay who are you but you kind of look familiar but i'm not sure who you are and <laughs> as you can see he's making his grand entrance um chad you talking about me yes talking about me? <laughs> I love the unicorn. <laughs> um, okay so chad chad is the male unicorn in the hallmark universe fan base who is also an actor a ga seer and podcast host who spends his free time keeping his cats from killing each other oh my goodness i love the unicorn chad i cannot even tell you when i met you you were all dressed up in this suit and everything and i'm and i mean you, you almost look like somebody from like like, you know, like when an Al Capone gang members or something like that, I want to say, because you're all dressed up in your, your best and you looked, and, and I say that when I talk, when I say gangster, I'm meaning it as a compliment. Like you're all dressed up looking like this 1930s, 1940s guy and you're giving me a hug and I'm just thinking, who is he? Who is he? And then later on you come to me and say, 
you don't you you don't know who I am, do you? It's like, no, I really don't know who you are. I'm Ch- oh, you're Chad. Okay, okay. <laughs> and then at Christmas Con, you were dressed up in the full Santa Claus beard. I remember that. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. And Jax couldn't. Jax didn't know who I was. <laughs> well, I've had people who have said. Who is this person? I've had my, some of my Hallmark friends say, who is this person? He's got a new <laughs> podcast or something. Who is he? Like, is he, is, they, they think that, I think they were wondering, is this somebody we really can follow or do we block him? Oh, no, no, don't block him. Don't block him. He's a, he's, you know, he's, he's a good guy. There's nothing wrong with him. He just is, he's fun. He's, yeah, he There's is. There's nothing like, wrong with me. Well, yeah. I mean, who doesn't wear a unicorn? I mean, man, I I, I feel underdressed. I should have gotten my unicorn, um, my unicorn headdress that, that I don't have, but but I, but I should have had one. You're, I tell you, you look, you look. Yeah, my mom is also here, and she just reminded me my, my daughter Martha has one, so I should have gone and looked for it and raided her stuff and worn a unicorn headpiece but i but i think it's cool you look um, you look great and i believe chad you're also an actor i didn't see that in your bio but aren't you also an actor yeah it's in, it's in my bio come on well okay it was mentioned but it's mentioned but you want to be yeah. in a hallmark movie isn't that your dream oh yeah man isn't that everybody's dream um probably i don't know if my mom would say it's um it's it's her dream i don't think she you know i i think we feel like we're living in a a lifetime movie sometimes in our household or or maybe even a horror film i'm not sure (laughs) which but but you i'll do a lifetime movie too i don't care (laughs) i know you so now you are how many cats do you have you mentioned your cat I have three. I have one angel and two devils. Oh. And the, the, the two the two males drive me nuts. The male they're the females like an angel. She's the perfect cat. The oh. other two are just fighting all the time, climbing up the Christmas tree, breaking the ornaments. They're just into everything. So how do you keep them from killing each other? <laughs> I have to break up fights on a daily basis. Okay. <laughs> I got you. I got you. So, so with Jax and Chad, I knew them before December, but then here I am at this party with Jax and all these other actors and stuff. And Jax is, I see Jax talking to this lady, and she's just absolutely gorgeous. And I mean that seriously. That was the first thing I was like, I love. I mean, I see her hair, and it's gorgeously done. She looks so stunning. I'm thinking, who is this person? And Jax is like, well, you know who this is. No, I actually, I actually don't. And so I was introduced to this beautiful woman, talented, so amazing. Her name is Dara. It is pronounced Dara. I am pronouncing your name right, correct? Yes. yes okay. Yes. I just, I just <laughs> want to make sure. I remember that Jax was not sure when she introduced. She said, it is Dara, right? I mean, I, I remember there's something like that. So I just wanted to make sure. Now, Dara. Her, I will just tell you, her bio really, <laughs> really impressed me and made me feel like, not made me feel, but I, after reading it, I feel like I'm not even doing enough. I mean, this woman. Stop. <laughs> this woman is Stop doing it. Much. So, Dara, is it is it Alston? Is that your last name? Yeah. Okay. Yep, Alston, Dara, yeah. Dara Alston is a Christmas enthusiast and self-proclaimed Narnian who always had a love for words but never knew what to do with them. After an English degree and a master's in interior architecture, she finds herself back where it all began, her imagination. Dara has started her own print and digital media company, Avenue 89, which publishes books and podcasts to push the creative and innovative boundaries of Christian content. That's me. (laughs) That is you. And I was like, whoa, this woman, you are, you have a master's degree. And I was unaware of that until I read that. (laughs) (laughs) Until I read that. And I was just like, oh my goodness, this, you, you are, you have done all this stuff. You have your own company 
And of course, you have your own podcast, which is in its second season, Dear Hallmark, which what I love about you, Dara, and I'm just going to say this, I love you bring such a unique perspective that we have been missing from the Hallmark universe. We have had, you know, there's people like me who are really positive and encouraging and all that. You have people like Jack who just have fun all the time and, you know, she's always getting on there and you kind of wonder, did she did she have too much to drink? Sometimes I have that one. I wonder. I'm just gonna be honest. <laughs> I mean, thankfully she's home. Thankfully she's home. But there are those times where it's like, oh, okay, she's she's just totally relaxed and just having a great time and 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 I and I love that. And then you've got Chad who is, you know, so so quirky in the best way best way i mean absolute best way but dara you bring something to our hallmark universe and beyond hallmark that is just you just the way you do it you have this really unique perspective and style that is so dynamic and is so fun and i feel like I will just sit and watch you and listen to you. And I don't even, sometimes I don't even, I don't even, I have to think about what you're saying. It's not so much what you're saying. It's how you're saying it. If that makes any sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The thank you. The way you carry yourself, the way you say it. I mean, and, and we're, and I could just sit and watch videos of your reaction to Hallmark movies. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> it's so much fun. You're so real and you're not putting on a show. You're authentic, and I love that about you. And thank you. And and you also um, bring bring you bring the diverse element, which I love because mm-hmm. for so long Hallmark was 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 always was tended to have the issue of we don't have enough diverse people, we don't have enough mm-hmm. different cultures, and I really love that you have you've brought that and now it's like it's it's finally become cool i mean we watched the movie finally it's become cool for all cultures to tune in and watch hallmark because they're featuring everybody now which i love yeah and i love that you've joined us so thank you for being here oh my gosh thank you so much i was just talking with someone like i still have to get used to hearing that because i am just being myself like i so i'm like i'm not putting on the ritz or putting on a show i'm just being me talking to a camera and people are like oh my gosh this is amazing i'm like really okay (laughs) (laughs) i'll take your word for it okay but thank you so much i really i I love hallmark movies i'm grateful to find a community of other people who are passionate about hallmark movies and all the that the hallmark universe has to entail like me so i'm grateful to have found you guys my other cousins Well, we're just, so I'm grateful to have all three of you here with me. I mean, I'm just getting to, it's like I, you all are so different. And I mean, we all have, we all share that common bond of Hallmark and loving these romance movies, these rom-coms and the mysteries and all that. Um, And yet you're so different. You each have your own individual perspective. And so, so Jack. Can you tell us just a little bit about how you got involved? And I know some people have heard this, but some people haven't. But how did you get involved with podcasting and and with the Hallmark community? How did that come about? Um, well, ju- just to to say uh, just two things, uh, just based on what you just said. Uh, if anyone hasn't listened to or watched Dara's recap about Butlers and Love talking about you have a very unique voice and the fact that I was also wondering and screaming at my TV going, what is in that crab cake? And when you said it and you were like, it crunched like a tortilla chip. <laughs> I was also like, I couldn't put it into words, but I was like, did she lose a tooth? Is that like the full hey. sound studio? What is happening? So uh, just to piggyback off of what Ruth said, um, 
with an oddly specific example, I did want to just say to echo that and and Chad, you know how I feel about you. Um, <laughs> and um, the the irony in 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 all this and how I got into it was starting the bubbly sesh, which was Shaw and I um, drinking bubbly and talking about our favorite movies. But it's so funny now because it's our first year. I've not um, drank on a podcast, but it always seems like I am drinking alcohol beverages, which is the hilariousness of so many times people will say, um, oh, you seem so relaxed. Were you drunk? Or like you relaxed a lot. And I was like, yeah. Um, and just to piggyback off of that, when we were talking about the party we were at, Ruth and Chad, man, I wish you would have been there too. This is why I need your cell phone number. But um, I went up to the bar. I asked who wanted a round of drinks, and I went up to the bar to order. And here was the rock star order coming from our entire group, which included Timmy and your sister, Dara. It was two seltzer waters, one regular water, and I believe your sister Dara simply wanted just a glass of ice. So I think it's, um, we're pretty rock and roll here. Um, but yes, uh, I digress. Um, Shal and I, talking about our favorite Hallmark movies, started this podcast just as friends wanting a space just like we all do to hang out and talk about all of our favorite things and then pitch that podcast to Bill Abbott who was CEO of Hallmark at the time they graciously took us on and then we had two awesome years there where like Ruth said we got to be in a Hallmark movie and we got to meet so many incredible people and go to all these events but I think Ultimately, the thing that has touched my heart the most and has been the most important part of all this is finding this community that we all have that even though I'm not, um, you know, on the payroll anymore, but I'll still take any free stuff they'll send me. Uh, I really loved my time there and continue to watch the content and love it. And more than anything else, love the community that I think we've all built that is even bigger than what Hallmark in and of itself is. And when you're talking about the drinks, that's funny because I had I had two drinks at that party because Timmy insisted that I had two drinks at that party. Uh oh, yeah, blame it on Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't usually drink, and I actually make it really clear that I don't drink unless I'm out with somebody, and the and usually I only have one drink. But then it was like Timmy's like, no, you're gonna have two, and but then but that was my limit. That was definitely my limit. I was fine. I mean, it wasn't. I and, and it wasn't wasn't like I was having super strong drinks. Um, you know, we were going with margaritas, so it was it was, it was fine. But uh, when you were dancing on a table. Oh, you know, oh, oh yeah, I guess I forgot that I was dancing on a table. That's right. Start in trouble. <laughs> oh yeah, that's me. I was yes, I was always starting trouble, right? Yeah. Right. Sure. Yeah, we we need Chad there because if Chad had been there, um I think we all would have been dancing on the table. I bet he would have got he probably would have gotten Christopher Flaw up there dancing I could have seen the two. <laughs> Chad would have been first. He actually would have been the first one dancing on the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, now, so, so let, moving on to Chad here. So, Chad, um, so how did you, now, I, how did you get started with your love of Hallmark movies? And now you, um, do you officially have a podcast yet? Or I wasn't, I wasn't 100%. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I thought you officially on. had one, but do you, is it on Apple Podcasts yet? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's on YouTube and all the podcasts. Okay. Okay. Yeah. A couple I, episodes. Okay. Okay. 
I need I need to look those up, and I didn't mean to be remiss in looking those up, but uh, I mean I've been a little bit busy, but I thought it was I knew it was starting, and so so how did you get started with your love of Hallmark and um and then your podcast? How did that all come about? All right. Well, first let me explain my New York City backdrop here. I saw Jax on a podcast a few weeks ago, and she had the Empire State Building in in the window behind her. And I said, I'm going on, I thought I'm going on this interview with, with Jax. I can't let her outdo me. I have to have the Empire State Building behind me. So that is why the t- uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh, now she's going to go. One swivel. <laughs> there we go. There. Jax has the real Empire State Building behind her. Uh, Chad, do you have the real Empire State Building behind you? Of course. This is my living room, man. What do oh, you think? Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure. All right. <laughs> But she doesn't have a horn that matches the Empire State Building. Look at that. That's Look true. That. That's true. If, if you go out in public like that, they they might be confused between the Empire State Building and Chad. <laughs> you know, there might be some. There might be people who. Hey, but maybe people start paying you and say they want to. <laughs> okay, I better stop. <laughs> I I can't decide whether. Can you see the lights? I can't decide whether I'm flashing or solid. I didn't even know there were lights. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, okay, I see them. I see them now. Oh, I, I see not, it. That's pretty cool. Oh, my the, goodness. It's well, it's because there's too much light. That's why. Yeah. Right. But there's purple and pink and lights on it. Wow. But anyway, I love it. All right. Um, Hallmark Channel. I started watching the Hallmark Channel like 20 years ago when the channel started. And uh, I think what drew me in, I think I can't remember, but I think it was the Christmas movies. How I kind of got started watching it. And back then, th- th- this is funny. I was working at, I was working as a personal trainer down in Florida. And this was back when we still had uh, VHS tapes and VCRs. So I would go, <laughs> I, I love these movies so much. I would go to work. I would put in a, v, a, a blank tape, hit record. And, you know, they would record for like six hours. I'd go to the gym, I'd work out with clients, I'd come home on my lunch hour when that tape ended, I'd take it out, I'd put a, a blank tape, another tape in, hit record, I'd go back to work, come home, so I was, I was like recording like 12 hours of Christmas movies a day so I could watch them on my day off. Oh my goodness. That's commitment. I applaud that's you, commitment. sir. I applaud you. So that's how, that's that's how I got, work. That's work. Oh, yeah. So that's how I got drawn into to all these and I'm wearing this unicorn horn because, like you said in my bio, I, I consider my, myself a unicorn because I think I'm like the only guy that likes these movies. Because when I, when, most guys hate these movies and they only watch them when their girlfriends or, or wives and like force them to watch them, you know. But, uh, and whenever I'm on social media commenting or if I'm live tweeting during the movies or something, I, I think I'm like the only guy account that, that I see popping up. <laughs> and when I go to these fan conventions, it's like nothing but estrogen, estrogen and me. <laughs> you know, I mean. <laughs> when, when, yeah, would you consider that an alternate title for your podcast, Estrogen <laughs> and Me? Estrogen I mean, and that's me. Like an offshoot <laughs> podcast. Yes, we're workshopping podcast names. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Yes. <laughs> Matter of fact, I saw those guys live. But anyway, um, <laughs> Love but anyway single. <laughs> when I went to uh, Roma Drama in Nashville, it was nothing but heinies and greenies. And there I am. I'm like the only guy in the whole building. So that's why I consider myself like a rarity and a unicorn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so so what, what inspired you, though, to start a podcast? Because I think that's, that's a fairly new venture for you. Yeah, I had been thinking about it for. Oh, is Shan here? Shan, I wore this. I wore this for my Heinies friends also. Sparkle Pony, right here, just for you guys. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, podcast. Yeah, podcast. I'd been thinking about it for like six or eight months. I had been toiling, thinking about the idea, but I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to do a Hallmark podcast because there's like 500 out there. And I was afraid I don't want to get involved because I'll, I'll just get lost in the sea of all these Hallmark podcasts. So I didn't know what to do. 
But then late in September, when the GAC popped up, I'm like, ooh, well, there's an idea, a podcast for just for GAC. Hmm, that's an idea. So I waited. And like during November and December, I'm watching the Christmas movies and I'm waiting and I'm waiting to see if anyone was going to start this GAC podcast, but nobody did. Yeah. So I thought, man, this might be a good idea. I could be the first and only GAC podcast. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, and then in January, when they were doing the promotions for their new premiere movie in 2022, there's the, the Winter Palace. Yeah. They were like having parties. Jax was involved. They're like Bill Abbott's like doing IG lives with Danica, Danica McKellar and Neil Bledsoe. Jax was there. Gabri Gabrielle was there from Roma Drama. I'm like, yeah. man, this is a party. This is a network. This party's a network, man. Yeah. This network knows how to party. So I'm like, if they're going to do this for all the premieres, I want to get involved, man. I got to get on this. So that was when I decided to, to uh, start the podcast. Okay. That's how it all came about. Well, and that's and and that that's cool that because because I know your t the title with it being like the GAC in there, there haven't been any other podcasts that have been popping up. Now I, I don't think I've seen any other podcasts that have GAC. No, in the title. there were there were other Hallmark podcasts that were talking about some of the GAC movies, like Dara yeah. was talking about some oh, of yeah. them on her podcast. Oh, yeah. But there was no that's one true. podcast that was dedicated just to GAC only. Right. Right. So that's cool. That's cool. Well, I, I promise I will look it up and I will subscribe because I, because I knew it was starting and then it's just like things have been a little, well, things are always crazy, but that's, <laughs> things seem to be pretty busy with me um, regularly, but um, all right. So Dara, now your bio really gave us a good snapshot of you, but how did you, how, how did you get involved with the with Hallmark and starting a podcast? How did that all come about? Well, first, I want to say, Chad, I love your commitment to this unicorn um, headband <laughs> that you keep adjusting. <laughs> you will not let that thing go. And I'm, I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and your Winter Palace review had me in stitches. Y'all need to watch that on YouTube. So I just wanted to say that before I started. Um, so I grew up watching the Hallmark Christmas movies. And my mom always had them on. Um, and then getting older, I kind of went to them when I um, bought my own Prime membership on Amazon. I went to them for like an escape. I didn't know who anybody was. I just saw that it was Hallmark. So I was like, I know it's going to be something fluffy and lighthearted to take me away from whatever's going on right now. So um, what when I really got involved was October 2019, because I was having like such a horrible day at work. And I was, I was living with my dad at the time and um, he, him and my sister always clown me for watch, like when I watch the Hallmark movies, they'd be like, ooh, Tom is watching the room. I'm just like, let, let me watch these in peace. So I waited until they went to sleep and I watched this one movie called Love on the Slopes. Oh gosh, I can think about it now. The, the chemistry, the winter, winter is one of my favorite seasons. So I was like, I'm in it to win it. I'm watching more. And I started paying attention to the actors. Then October 2020 is when I had the idea since I was home because of the pandemic. Normally, I would be busy during the Christmas season with my church doing their Christmas production. But because we weren't having that, I said, oh, this is the first time I can watch the Hallmark Christmas movies as they air. I wonder if anyone's reviewing them. So I started a YouTube channel and I just I said, here's me. I love Hallmark. Let's talk about these Christmas movies. And then in July of 2021, this guy, some guy named Tyler Hines, like shared my review of It Was Always You in his stories, which I, I left my body at that point. And so <laughs> when, um, <laughs> when that happened, when that happened, a lot of people started following the, a lot of people started following the page and they started asking me what I thought about older movies, which is why the podcast started because I figured I'm doing new reviews on the YouTube and so the podcast would have the older my reviews for the older Hallmark movies so that's how the the podcast got started okay well that's pretty that that's that's amazing I, I it's been amazing actually to hear all of you share your stories because I kind of knew Jack's story but even there um I learned a few things 
And so it's nice to know how you all got started. Now, I do know Jax has to leave us before too long because uh, she has something something very important that's coming up. So I want to make sure before she leaves, um, is there anybody who wanted to specifically ask Jax a question? Is there anybody oh, else? Yes. And, be and before I go, I did want to say, I don't know if you know Dara, but Brittany Bristow and I are doing a book club for Dara's book, Chasing the Wind. Do we tell you this oh. or no? Okay, so. I didn't um, know that. We're wow. doing, uh, and by book club, I mean, Britt and I both got the book and then we were like, should we start a book club? So right now it is a book club of two and it's me and Brittany. Oh. But if anyone wants to join us on the, the journey, feel free okay. to DM us. I think our plan is to read it throughout um, February and then to do like a little group discussion or do something in March. We haven't planned any of that yet, but uh, we're super excited. So just wanted oh, to say that awesome. before I hopped off. Oh, that's guys, amazing. I didn't know. That. <laughs> um, so Veronica, yep. If you want to go ahead and ask your question. Hi, hi everybody. Hi, Ruth. Thank you so much. Hi, Dor. Hi, Chad. Hi, Jax. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I this is my. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? How are you? I'm good. I'm I'm from Houston, Texas. I love Hallmark movies, and I need to watch the GAC also. Chad's review. I need to. I I, I promise I will watch the GAC movies too. I mean, tremendously. I just love all the movies, Christmas movies, anything you know. Because right now we need laughter. Right now, everything that is going on with this world, we need laughter. Yes, ma'am. Very, very, very much. But um, my question is. Um, uh, Dara, Jax, and Chad, who would you guys want to play you guys in a movie? <laughs> that is a good question. And the yes, who would all three of you who would want to play a movie of your life story? Life story, it's so funny yeah. that I have not thought about this ever, which is wild. Yeah. <laughs> Well, in Houston, I love it there, Veronica. So yay! Yay! The um, first person, oh Jax, you go, you go. Oh, I that was me. I was literally saying um to save time as I thought. <laughs> you, you go. I was thinking, Alvina August. Um, <gasps> she was the first one that came to mind. She's from Deliver by Christmas the uh, Hallmark Movies and Mysteries movie, and she's about to be in a new one that's coming out in March. That's probably why she's at the top of my brain. But, the yeah, she was the first person I thought about. So I'm going to say Alvina. That's awesome. Um, she, and she was, well, first of all, I'm excited she's doing another movie, and second of all, yes, she is spot on. Uh, Chad, do you know who you want, or should I go next? Yeah, you can go next. I I mean I cannot leave until I find out you can't think who Dad is gonna say. But I think <laughs> for me, I would love oh my gosh, there are so many people that I think are great, but I oh it's um, okay. It's okay. Um, Jan said Ashley Williams, Jax. Oh, I mean I would, I would be honored if she would date. Or, 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 or Rachel Boston, your sisters, right? I would, I would Boom. love, I would love any sort of hybrid. Aaron Cahill. Aaron Cahill. I will take any of my cousins, sisters. Um, I, I will, I will say that, and I mean this in the best way possible, and I know she would take it as such. Mm -hmm. I think that Ashley has some of my unhinged energy um that I think would translate well and when we see each other it's a little bit like wow what's gonna happen um so I would say yeah probably probably Ashley awesome Chad I would say Tyler Hines but he would have to wear his sparkle pony costume throughout the entire movie Wow. And the award for best answer goes to. 
I that you guys you guys are awesome. That's I also gotta say thank you so much for coming on. Chad, I love the unicorn hat. I love it. <laughs> I mean I love unicorns very, very much. And I just want to say congratulations to all three of you. Continued success. I cannot wait to see your movies. I have it DVR'd because I'm working at the I work at a college. So when I come home, I'll be able to see the movies. So congratulations to all three of you and lots of success on upcoming projects coming up. And I will definitely, I cannot wait to see it, what you guys have coming to TV. So much, Veronica. Thank you, Veronica. <laughs> Thank you. And and before I leave, I wanted to say. Thank you, not, of course, to Chad and to Dara, who, like, you guys are rock stars. I'm so glad we're all friends and for everyone being here. But thank you so much to the lovely hostess with the mostest, Ruth Hill. Big Woo round of applause for just being a complete rock star, both personally and professionally. You know how I feel about you, but I'll, I'll say it again. I'm just in awe of who you are and what you're becoming and growing into. So thank you for letting us have this opportunity to say, and I will see you all soon. And bye, Timmy. It's good to see you when we're not chugging water in a corner. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I just wanted to say thank you for the endless hours of entertainment. And I can't wait to party with you again and drink some more water. I can't wait. Yeah, my, my bar tab was really high that night. It's like, you know, $3 in tips. I think we tipped, but like they were really and, giving us that. That water was free flowing. Um, and and less trips to the bathroom. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> maybe next time we'll have a margarita if we really get crazy. Ooh, can't believe you dissed me on that party. Chad, on, no, Chad, I actually feel bad now. It was, it was not, it was next time. Next time. Next time. Right. Thank you guys so much. I'll see y'all soon. Hey, thank Bye, you, Jack. Bye. Bye. Tammy, you beautiful creature. What's up? <laughs> oh. Oh, Chad's so charming. We know that. Mm -hmm. He's a charmer. Goes without yes, saying. Yes, definitely. Tyler, Tyler Hines playing you. Yes. Yes. Please. And with <laughs> and 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 the unicorn outfit, sparkly unicorn uh, or whatever outfit, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Be before I open it up for any more questions, because there might be more. Um, so now we have Chad and we have Dara. So what are your guys's picks for the February movies? Now it doesn't have to be Hallmark. I don't care if you're picking theatrical releases, Hallmark, JC. Lifetime or any of the streaming services, what are your picks? If you had to say, like, what movies, movie or movies, are you most looking forward to this month? Whoever wants to go first, jump in. Uh, Chad, you got it? Uh, well, since I have a GAC podcast, I have to say Harmony from the Heart on GAC, mm -hmm. February 12th. Same. Jesse Metcalf, Jessica Lowndes. We're going to see. Some lip syncing, we're going to see dancing. It's going to be great. And red and pink all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it's the only Valentine movie in February. The only Because Hallmark is showing June wedding movies <laughs> in, in February. <laughs> no, not February. Love you, Ari. I know. I, I'm. I'm. I'm going to be honest that I didn't necessarily like the love you, Ari thing when they first heard that. <laughs> yeah, I was no. like, what? Yeah, no, why are I didn't like it this? I why can't we go right. back to some of the other uh, that just kind of that that kind of threw me a bit. Um Yeah, even but, saying it is a sport. Like love you wear like it's a yeah, sport for you. like it's a whole exercise. I'm, I mean, I'm not sure that, and if somebody listening loves love you worry, that's great. Just like what is it? What what, what was what was what was the big thing? It's not not Hallmark but, but like veganuary or something like that like that was all the rage for january and what people were, yeah veganuary and people were saying it doesn't really sound right and it does <laughs> it doesn't if you say it out loud i know it'll be promoting veganism but it mm -hmm. doesn't quite doesn't quite sound right it makes you think of other things that are not necessarily vegan but <laughs> 
some, some other movies I'm looking forward to on Up TV. Mm-hmm. They're doing Frisky February. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> wait, yeah. I thought it was Flirty February. Or Flirty February. Flirty, I'm sorry, okay. you're right. Oh, right. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I like Frisky too, though. That's pretty cool too. I, 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 was, all, I was all believing Chad because I didn't remember what it was. Okay, that's up TV Frisky. after dark. That's what it was. I, I know. I was kind of thinking up and Frisky. That up usually not. I, I they don't usually go quite that far. I mean, they're they they might go a little bit further Ooh. than, but but not not usually. But okay, so flirty, flirty February. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right, February sixth. Listen out for love. It's a movie about podcasters. How can you how can you love that? I mean, you're stealing like my answers. Yes. yes. Oh my goodness. Star Stephanie Bennett, who's been a supporting uh has supporting roles in a lot of Hallmark movies. Mm-hmm. She plays this podcast producer, I guess, in this movie. So I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah. Brittany Bristow's in one on the 13th, The Story of Love. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Yes. And then on the 20th, the song to my heart. I don't know the leads, but Martin Cummings from When Calls the Heart is in it. Oh, okay. Well, it's been fun cool. to see him in a program that's not When Calls the Heart, something other than that. That's cool. And on the 27th, A Wedding to Remember with Grayston Holt, who's been in a lot of Hallmark. Oh, movies. yeah. Yeah. Course. And Chesapeake yeah. Shores, I saw. Yeah, through the, yeah, yeah. Through the yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. Those, yeah. those are the ones I'm looking forward to seeing. Okay, no, that sounds great. I'm glad. I, I was not. I had not paid attention. I knew there were up movies out there, but I hadn't really paid attention to. But that's good that they have. They have an actual theme too. That's good that they're really jumping on board mm-hmm. and they're and and their movies have been improving. Yeah, up movies. Yeah, that, yeah, they, yeah. they really have been mm-hmm. leveling up. So yeah, that, that's good. That's mm-hmm. good. All right, so Dara, what about you? Um, I, of course, I know you. You got excited with the JC one, which of course they were all excited. I mean, yes, that. I'm excited to see the chemistry between the two of them because I don't think they've been paired before, oh, which yeah. I'm I'm excited to see. Um, but all of the ones Chad named, I'm excited for. Plus, um, the second Wedding Veil with Autumn Reeser. Yeah. and I just I'm excited that it's in Italy. That's that's where yeah. I am. I just want to be in Italy right now so anything that will take me there I'm excited for the, the um, wedding veil unveiled unveiled because then Allison Sweeney's is the wedding veil legacy I believe uh, right yeah, unveiled right they're ripping that thing off Chat. Ooh. Not Ooh. About Hallmark after dark. this is not frisky they're February unveiling. don't do it this is not frisky February don't do it. Change, but I don't think they're quite going down the road of <laughs> ripping things off. There, I mean, I mean, at least they do have. Now they do have guys going around shirtless. That has become yeah. that has become something. Yeah. I'll never forget when Marcus Rosner. Well, actually, no, Ryan Pavey was maybe one of the first guys to do that on Hallmark. Is, oh, in you know, Unleashing. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Darcy, and it's like that took me like, by surprise. Yeah, well, yeah, that's the. Yeah. I saw that. I was like, hold on. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then then Victor Webster in Summer Villa, he also was shirtless. Um, that part. And then I remember Marcus Rosner was shirtless, and that was funny because he's actually he's not even swimming. He's coming down the steps, like putting his shirt down on you know something. Pretty and and. And the director, I talked with the director about that, and she's like, "Oh yeah, we came up with a way to do it for Marcus to be, you know, who doesn't who doesn't want to see Marcus Rosner shirtless? Well, what women? I mean, I and then know. we got Travis Van Winkle and Tis the Season to Be Merry. Yeah, that most recent, um, you know, gift. <laughs> shirtless. Yeah, it's always about the shirtless things. Yeah, I, I know it's all about them. all about and that water, shirtless- that waterfalls movie had it. Well, what's the oh. Name? Oh, Chasing yeah. Waterfalls. Yeah. yeah. Christopher yeah. Russell and Cindy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I do want to add in a theatrical release. I'm uh-huh. excited. This is a little bit off, not no. off brand, okay. but I think it's called Death on the Nile. It's the oh. Agatha, Agatha oh, yeah. Christie, um, the second one that's coming out with Gal Gadot and Letitia yeah. Wright and uh-huh. everybody. I'm so excited to see that. That comes out, I think, February 11th. Yes, it uh, does. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited with you. for that. I, when I saw that, advertised I was like oh my goodness I loved I loved um 
their uh, Murder on the Orient Express. I love Me too. That. I love it. Too. And, so, yeah. and so I'm all about mysteries too. I'm I'm right with you on mysteries. Um, yeah. Yeah. So okay. Um, so we but do I'll, have. I also have, I also sorry, have an sorry. honorable mention. Okay, go for it. Mention. On the 26th on Hallmark. Welcome to Mama Mia's. No, that's not the name of it. It's called Welcome to Mama's, but it's something like that. But I say Mama Mia's. But it stars someone we haven't seen on Hallmark before, Winona Earp. She's going to be in it. She stars oh, okay. in it. Oh, okay. wow. Oh, and that's another be... Italian one. So I'll yeah, be prepared so for that. Her in there. She's going to okay. be like killing zombies and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> I, was, I was a little bit, when you said Welcome to Mama Mia's, I thought, really? That's a Hallmark movie? <laughs> I, I mean, Chad, you, you're just, you're so, I, I need to learn not to trust absolutely everything you're saying. You would think I would know by now, but. It's the you, unicorn headband. I, 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 <laughs> I, I, I just felt gullible. I was going, oh, okay. There's a movie called Welcome to Mama Mia's. And I was thinking, oh, that'd be an interesting. <laughs> so, all right. <clears throat> So we do have some time that I did. Want, I know that we had um, a couple people come on, but is there somebody who would like to ask um, Chad or Dara or both? We do. I didn't have to even say any more. All right, Paula. Hello. Um, I really am interested in the um, GAC. Um, Chad, are, do you see that they're going to be able to produce more movies so that they have a more variety? Of oh, yeah. To, yeah, to, they will in the future. Right now, I think the plan is they're going to do one movie a month, one new movie a month. Oh, okay. Um, and on the Saturdays, they're not showing the new movie. They're they're re-showing the, the Christmas movies from the fall, the 12 Christmas movies that they made. But I think that's the plan. But I think as the channel expands, I think they're going to do more movies. Yeah. And, and when will the um, uh, series start? The... Do you have any idea oh, when they're going to do any series? I don't well, know. The 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 one about the um, uh, hope. Uh, <clears throat> when hope calls. Oh, when, when hope calls. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I don't know when that. Yeah, I don't know when that's going to. I don't think they've announced the filming date for yeah, season two yet. yet. Yeah. They gave us a teaser with that Christmas special. Yeah, they gave yeah. us a, yeah, yeah. They yeah. a teaser. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. I enjoyed the first se the first uh, season of it, and I'm yeah. anxious to see it. Uh -huh. come, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah, I always have many questions. I actually have a question for all three of you. Okay. Who would be your dream guest to interview on your podcast? Ooh. Well, I already. I, I did a podcast last night where I already answered this question, but I will answer it here oh. because uh, um, I said, and I, and I didn't really expect this. It came out when I was talking to somebody, um, but Hugh Jackman, I would love to have on my podcast speak and, and which is not a Hallmark person. I realize that. I mean, there's a lot of people, but, but I would love, I, I guess I'm thinking towards the future. Yeah, well, I want it to be, podcast where I can ask literally anybody that I would like to and they come on and so for me I'm looking at Hugh Jackman and I think he's an A-lister he's done things in all different genres all just all different styles musicals and and movies and you know just in theater and all this and so I think it would be really neat to have him on as as a guest so that's 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 the, I'm just saying that's my dream guest I definitely want to be on that Zoom. <laughs> I think the Zoom would be broken at that point because everybody's going to come right. in. I think you're right. advertise that. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Ruth. Hmm? All right. So what about you two? I'm thinking. You still thinking? I, I have two. Um, I would say Chris Palaha and Tyler Hines are my two dream guests. Um, I admire them both. They are both extremely talented, multi-hyphenate creatives, and I just want to pick their brain about all their um, all their ventures. So, yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, I was thinking along the same lines. I was thinking Tyler Hines and Neil Bledsoe. And I know, Dara, you've already interviewed Neil. And I He's didn't, a I didn't contact Neil about an interview because 
he had done so many podcast interviews last month that I didn't want to bug him to do another one. But uh, I would love to like chat with him and, and pick his brain. Well, well, Chad, you need to ask him because I'm going to be bringing, he, he is going to be doing a podcast. He's, I would yeah. say reach out to him. He's, he's, he's interested. He wants to do more of those. And, and I think it's great. Yeah. Tyler and Chris, both of them. Yeah. Dara, you can get them. I know you can. I absolutely know you can. I've interviewed them both and they're, they're amazing and they would be, they'd be great. So yeah, it'll happen. You guys, you two, you two will definitely get your dream guest. I have no doubt. I have no doubt. So will you, Ruth? Oh yeah, no, I know, I know, I will, and I know that. I mean, I could say different Hallmark people, but I'm in a little different. It's different because I've interviewed so many of the Hallmark people, and not that I there aren't people I, you know, there are people that I'd love to interview. I'm sure in the Hallmark world that I haven't yet, but. But I'm actually thinking towards, I really am thinking towards branching out past Hallmark. I love Hallmark, love GAC, love Up, love all of that. But I really want to even branch out more. So, so that's And a third person I would like to interview would be Timmy. Aw, thank you. <laughs> there you, you got, go. You'll have to come on and, and review a movie with me sometime. We can you talk get, about that. Yeah, you know, I think that'd be awesome. Are? You get that network where you are? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Good. <laughs> Thank you all. Veronica, you are more than welcome. Um, oh, hi. Hi, hi everybody. <laughs> um, hi, hi, Veronica. I just want to say thank you so much to the both, all three of you for doing this because right now we need laughter. Like you said, we need laughter. We need, we need some good content. I, I, I can't, you know, normally if there's anything on that on there, I can't, my nieces and nephews cannot see, you know, they have to like leave the room, you know, and I love that, you know, we just need good movies right now. Oh, yeah. I agree with you wholeheartedly, Some yeah. Good movies in my, before I wanted to ask you, are you guys on social media so we can keep contact with what projects you're doing? I just wanted, I wanted to make sure, I wanted to ask you guys, because, you know, I would love to keep them, you know, just stay up to date what you guys are up to, you know? What do you mean? You're not following us yet? Come on. No, no. <laughs> no I, I, I don't want to be like, oh, make anybody nervous, because I, you know, I, you know, respecting people's I'm privacy, put mine in that's the, the that is the most important. I would, you know, you know, privacy is very important. And I just wanted to know, are you guys on social media so we can keep in contact with you guys and what projects you guys have upcoming, upcoming stuff I that you want to. in the chat. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to definitely look that up on Instagram. Oh, yeah, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Chad, talk about your mini projects you have coming up. Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. And you too, Mr. Mr. I want to know what you are, are up to. What other projects you're you're working I'm on? I'm right now for two shows right now. But oh, oh my goodness! Oh, we got to hear about this. Well, thank you Razzle so much, Razzle. Veronica, for coming on. Thank you. Um, and while you're doing that, I, I if you didn't see in the chat, Nicole Smith is also saying she would love to come on and review a movie with you, Chad. So. I see that. I'm going to yeah. have Nicole on. Um, yeah. yeah. So, see, so you've got you, you. I think you have a wide range. There's a lot of people who would love to come on your podcast. I have no doubt. And I'm gonna, okay. I'm thank gonna you. Have, I'm going to have the high. I'm going to have the Heinies on sometime too. If Tyler ever does a GAC movie, we'll definitely have the Heinies. Oh, on. yeah. That'd be great. So, Chad, what you you have a project coming up? Is that what you were? Is that what Dara was just telling me about or mentioning? Oh, I'm in rehearsals right now for two two shows. Um, they're 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 theater theater shows. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, nothing, nothing nothing ever anyone's ever gonna see. And in theater, that's great. Well, so are these? Is was it local theater to where you are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. And yeah, so, 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 of course, you'll have to you'll you'll let us all know so that we so that people can make the pilgrimage to see you if they if they'd like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Pilgrimage, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, oh, but 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 before I, but before we come, we all have to wear uniforms, right? To be in the audience, is that is that right? We all have to. <laughs> where's the radio supporting chad the the male unicorn in the hallmark 
<laughs> oh yeah. As soon as you walk in, they'll know all those freaks are Chad's friends. There you go. <laughs> Why not? I mean, you've totally inspired me. I mean, I think I think we need to we we need to all like wear the we need to all have next next con is good. I know there's well we have um Rama Drama coming up this summer and we also have Christmas Con coming up in Pasadena this summer. So we just need to all purchase these unicorns and you know, the unicorn hats and wear them. I mean, why not? You know? I I love it. <laughs> I, I think I'm, I think I definitely have to do that so that what I so that everybody will know I'm a supporter of Chad. I am Chad's supporter. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll all think, "What are you doing?" <laughs> um so as we as we kind of wrap things up here chad and dara i would i would like for you to tell us so how are you this is this is the month of love i know valentine's day happens and i used to really hate valentine's day even when i was married i like really did not like i didn't want anything to do with the holiday i pretended it didn't exist now i really don't mind it even though i i'm i'm single I, I, I don't mind the holiday. It doesn't bother me. Uh, it's, I think it's a great holiday. Do you, either of you have plans, special plans for Valentine's Day? Mm, mm, mm. What is that laugh, Chad? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to know. What is, what is going on? You sound very sinister. <laughs> I, I know. I'm thinking, I'm thinking okay. Chad, I know you're not an axe murderer, so it's like the, we don't have to worry about that, right? Uh, <laughs> but, we don't know yet. Um, <laughs> my plan, you're going to laugh, this is ridiculous, but um, Valentine's Day is on a Monday, right? Mm -hmm. This year? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I have an acting class that night, so that is what I'm going to be doing. Valentine's Day. There you go. Hey, there I, you go. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> oh, that's great. At least you're going out. I'm so, gonna just so, be at so, home. So no excitement in my life. Okay. All right. <laughs> Same, but I'm just gonna be inside watching older Hallmark Valentine movies. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Matching hearts with Ryan Pavey and Taylor Cole, all oh. things Valentine. Oh, Do a little yeah. mini marathon. So oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that's 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 great. I I cause I'm I'm not doing anything. I I can assure you I won't be doing anything for Valentine's Day either. Just I'll just I will just be staying in. I'm I'll certainly be watching the Hallmark movies and GAC movies mm -hmm. and Up movies and all of those and and I mean I'm still I'm still getting caught up on Christmas movies that I didn't get to watch. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I. Because my mom watched them while I was gone or while I was right. doing other things. And I come back to like, right. oh, you already saw that, mom. But that's the thing is I sit and I watch these. I have my DVR is usually pretty full. And I'm trying to watch all the backlog of movies. I did notice that, Nicole, you have a podcast. Maybe I need to um, come on, Nicole, connect come off on with here you. Come on. I need to connect off with you for sure. Swing my um, heart. They did a review of Winter Palace as well. That, yes, we did. Yeah, um, I guessed it okay. on. Okay, which was cool. Okay, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Okay. A lot of laughs about right. our um, what was it? Our hopes for a sequel. Um, what was oh, it? Um, we came up with four other Concordian movies. Concordian Christmas. Ooh, okay. Yes. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to look those up. I think all of you of course i know jack had to leave early but i so i thank her even though she's not here and chad and dara and my wonderful virtual audience this i am just so grateful to all of you it was a blast i had so much fun and that's really what i wanted to do um and i will never forget chad with the unicorn i mean i feel like you know i mean it's just i mean i think i will always see you when i see you from now on i'm always gonna remember yep the unicorn and so it's yeah. hard to get this image out of your head i mean yeah uh i yeah well it and you pull it off very well because then in the midst of all that he comes off as being really charming too i mean how is it that hallmark has not picked you up yet i mean <laughs> really uh, uh, well, one of these days, one of these days. 
All right. So thank you all for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please come back. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you. 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 Thank Make sure that you read the description so that you will know where to follow them because you certainly don't want to stop following these three incredibly entertaining people. You never know where they might pop up next. As for you, my wonderful listeners, I can't thank you enough for all that you have done to support me. It means so much. So many of you have come to be a part of my virtual audiences or you're watching and listening when you can't. Be sure, if you wouldn't mind, I'd love for you to go and listen on Apple Podcasts, review and rate. And also, I am on iHeartRadio now, so you can find me all over the place. Media from the Heart is growing and expanding. Be sure that you join the Facebook group. Let me know what you think of this episode. I'm always happy to hear. Whether it's good or bad, I'm fine with it. I want this to be a community where we can all come together and just have an uplifting, enjoyable time and really care about each other. Some of you, I look to you as almost my co-hosts because you're there and you're so faithful. So thank you so much. And until next time, may you have a blessed, blessed day and a fabulous week. Bye for now.